today um in april just in case my lovely april in case you happen to watch me or watch this later this is for you i have not drank it yet so um hence the slowness but anyway um i kind of feel like a little bit of a feathered bird today it's not a feather bird, so anyone that don't get offended, calm yourselves down. It's just, you know, it's faux. It's just, I feel a bit like a feather bird. But anyway, the real reason I did not come to show you guys that I could be like a cat, which I did not know, but apparently I'm a cat this morning. So, meow. Happy Monday, but really what I wanted to show you guys was um, whenever I tell people we're open Mondays, Fridays, and Saturdays, people always get really excited. It's much more exciting when I was a cat. And they're like, oh my gosh, you've got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday off. And I'm like, no, no I don't. I come in every day and what I come in and do so on Saturday I got in a bunch of stuff as you guys know we do online auctions we do estate sales so all these boxes came in on Saturday hi James yay it's always exciting when you have someone watching hi Sandy can I add you to the camera how do, what do I do how do I do that do you want me to add you it says I can add you a little new I don't really know what that means but I will happily add you if you'd like but anyway so as you guys know we do the online auctions and we do estate sales so Saturday I had all these boxes come in so these are only some of them I've actually got some that are in a different spot but all these boxes came in and people like to bo like mark their boxes this is China chances are it's not China this says miscellaneous living room bedroom probably not I'm gonna add you. Sure. Um. So I brought. I got all these boxes in. I got all these boxes in. So my surprise will be your surprise, guys, because I don't know what's in them. That says China cups. Like I said, sometimes when they try to mark their boxes, they're right. Sometimes they're not. Got in some rugs. I got in. Anyone that's looking for a huge tiger to show you how big he is. Rawr. He's huge. He's large. That's a large tiger. I'd make a Tinder joke, but I won't. <laughs> um, I got in a little horse, a great chair, anybody that's looking for some contemporary furniture. I got in, this piece is kind of cool. That's definitely a vintage piece. Um, I got in, it's not a real bronze, but it looks like a real bronze. This table came in. Oh, anyone that's looking. Someone asked me for a small entry table. This is a long one. This is kind of a contemporary one. I like it. Um, this chair is cool. It's got a little rip right here though. But the hardware on it's cool. And then what else? I got all this. <laughs> and then all this came in. So that's kind of what keeps me busy. So when I really say like, oh, I can't go to brunch or lunch. I really am here going through all this stuff. This is one bag. I've got like 10 bags. We have a pot outside. Oh, this desk though. I don't think this is going to go in auction. I think this will end up on consignment. I love desks like this. It's got the leather. So under this glass is a leather top and then it's got that gold on it, which I personally, I think they're cool. I have crushes on those desks. Okay, so we're back. So we got in a grandfather clock that I have to put the weights back on. Here's a little tip, you guys, when you are moving a grandfather clock, if you are ever moving a grandfather clock, make sure you mark your weights, because um, if you don't, you don't want to put it back on the wrong chain, because that'll mess up your clock. So there's a little tip in case you did decide to watch this video, and you have a grandfather clock, or you know someone that has a grandfather clock, pass it along. It's a great tip. Me and my bunny face, that I, or rabbit face, or cat face, or whatever I am. Um, whoever's watching, thank you. Hopefully you've been... Okay, good morning, guys. This is not 